Hey everyone, Shami Martin here. I am uh, going through the journal that I kept when I was 14 and 15 years old. And uh, if you've been keeping up, we are at the beach right now, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, which uh, I haven't mentioned at this at this point yet. Rehoboth is very well known as a gay beach. It's not like you have to be gay to go there or that everyone's there, everyone who's there is gay. But um, there are a number of gay bars, and if you go to one end of the beach, you'll notice that there are less heterosexual couples and more homosexual couples. I think at the age of 14, I might not have known that. And even if I had, I don't think I would have gone into depth discussing it. But it's a very nice family beach. That's why it annoys me that kids at my school, when they found out I went to Rehoboth, were like, what, are you gay? Go to the gay beach? First of all, who cares? Second of all, it was a very nice family beach. That's why we went there. So let's continue. This is June 26th, 1999. It's a Saturday. I'm writing at 9.30 a.m. I forgot to write, either that or I didn't have enough energy, Thursday. Shane was sick, so we went to the beach alone. When I say we, it must be my family. Because it wasn't me. <laughs> I went boarding with Rich instead. Rich was... Uh, um, like mid, later 30s, he had uh, very young daughters at that time. And uh, he was just a really fun guy. Uh, which was almost more fun than Shane, because Shane can get annoying. At least I'm honest. I went back early. Actually, I get annoyed with people pretty easily. If you haven't determined that, um, that, that, that trait has kind of carried on into my 20s. Anyway, we had dinner, then went to the arcade. Shane was feeling better, so him, sorry, handwriting, so him and his mom went with us. It should be, shouldn't it be his mom, him and his mom, he and his mom, they, it should be they, so they went with us. We played some games in there, my sister cashed in her tickets. What did she get, Sean? Why didn't you write that? Then we went to Funland. Funland was a uh, little a little uh, amusement park on the boardwalk. Just a very small amount of rides, like so small that it didn't have even like a mini roller coaster. Just a couple rides. I went on the Gravitron. That's one of those big spinning things that uh, pushes you up against the wall. And then um, this specific one, in case you've never seen a Gravitron or something like it, um, some of them like... Uh, some of them will move like so that you're like this and you're rotating like this and you're looking down. Uh, this one was enclosed and after you were spinning fast enough, the cushions that you were up against would unlock and they would fly up to the top of the wall so that you were actually like probably four feet off the ground, which is pretty cool. And I seem to remember getting kind of choked by this necklace. And when I say this necklace, I mean this necklace. I have had this since I was 13. I lost it once for the for a period of about two years, and then I found it again, and uh, I still wear it most days. Weird diversion. Okay, so uh, we went to Funland, I went on the Gravitron, which is sort of like the rotor. The rotor was the same thing at Hershey Park, which is close by here. That is Hershey Park as in Hershey, Pennsylvania as in chocolate. Yeah, it spins around really fast. Oh, apparently I decided to go ahead and describe it for you. And you're pressed against the sides. Um, after that, we went on the paratrooper. It's just a seat that spins around on a tilted circle. It's very exciting. And then we went on chaos. It's a thing that spins around in a circle like this, tilts multiple times. You're on like this claw thing that um, the seats that you're, you're in will flip this way, forward and backwards as it turns. It's crazy. It's called chaos. Um, and you're in a seat that spins forward and backward. It's very chaotic. <laughs> then we went on the Haunted Mansion, which was kind of lame, says 14-year-old me. I'm not scared. Then we went to get ice cream, Ellie's treat, thanks mom too, and then home. Friday, we did everything we did Thursday, <laughs> except Shane went with us to the beach. And for dinner, we went to Grotto's Pizza. Then we went to some t-shirt stores, and I got a Pokemon t-shirt. Actually, I think I still have that shirt. I'll go find it in a second. Then we went to Bear on the Beach, which is just a restaurant. No, no, Bear on the Beach was a, a uh, um, stuffed animal store. Uh, I got a new Beanie Baby. Remember those? 
Prickles the Hedgehog. I still have my Beanie Babies. They are in the bedroom in a trash bag up on top of the closet. True story. So uh, got the Hedgehog. She's awesome. Then we stopped at a record store and I got MXPX. Remember I mentioned them earlier? Uh, their album Teenage Politics, which is probably my favorite album by them. That one and Slowly Going Away, The Way of the Buffalo are good. Uh, then we got ice cream. We got ice cream every night. Then we all drove to Old Navy. There was an outlet out on uh, like the the main interstate, uh, the beach interstate. There was a whole row of outlets, and uh, we went to Old Navy. And Mom bought me a yellow fleece shirt. I remember that, and I think eventually I gave it to her. Mom, you can verify. Then we went home, and all the adults karaokeed, <laughs> and Shane and some people that uh, just last names because I didn't know their first names. Um, and I watched the Spurs Knicks game. What? Apparently, I watch, used to watch basketball. Spurs won by one point. They won the '99 championships by doing that. Why do I care? Okay, now, right now, now, comma, right now, comma, and the entire time I've been writing over an hour, we've been on the road back home. I, we've already left. I didn't know that. At this moment, we are stopping at the toll. Never mind, we're away. <laughs> we're following Ellie so we can eat lunch together. I'll see you later. So uh, we'll continue with this uh, next when we get back home. And then shortly after that, we're going to take another vacation this summer. It's fun times in the Martin family. And here's that Pokemon shirt I was talking about. Yes, I do still have it. Although I, now that I've shown it, I might just get rid of it. It doesn't fit me. Uh, it says, Gotta Catch Them All. It's got... Pikachu, um, I don't know what Squirtle's Evolved form is. And then Bulbasaur and Charizard. Is that Bulbasaur? No, that's Venusaur. Oh, what is Squirtle's Evolved form? Crap! 